The Gateway Arch Archers initially appeared in Mesopotamian brick construction in the 2nd millennium BC, and their systematic application began with the ancient Romans, who were the first to apply the technique to a wide range of structures. The Gateway Arch is a monument on the west bank of the Mississippi River in St. Louis, Missouri. The Gateway Arch gets its name from the city status as the Gateway to the West during the United States's 19th century westward expansion. The Gateway Arch, which is part of the Jefferson National Expansion Memorial, commemorates the achievements of 19th century westward pioneers and celebrates the city's status as the Gateway to the West. The Gateway Arch was built to commemorate President Thomas Jefferson's Louisiana Purchase of 1803 and to honor St. Louis' pivotal role in the fast westward development that followed. It was designed by Finnish born, American educated architect Eero Saarinen. The Gateway Arch is the tallest monument in the United States, standing at 630 feet. It's as long as it is wide. We are not sure if it's also the largest monument. Construction began in 1961 and was completed on October 28, 1965, when the final component was installed. The stainless steel plate exterior skin of the Gateway Arch is estimated to weigh 886 tons. One of the most spectacular man-made wonders in the world. The stairways of each leg have 1076 steps and are solely utilized by maintenance employees. Visitors are not permitted to walk up or down the stairs. John Vincent, a thrill seeker and base jumper, used suction cups to climb up the arch in 1992 and successfully jumped to the bottom with a shoot. For his adrenaline rush, Vincent was sentenced to three months in federal jail. According to the Smithsonian's Air and Space magazine, five planes are known to have flown through the arch without permission. In 2001, National Park Service historian Bob Moore told Air or Space, We haven't had a fixed-wing aircraft perform it since the 1970s. The arch is shaped like a weighted catenary arch, which resembles the inverted shape of a wire or chain suspended from both ends. Because of this design, stresses on the arc's base push directly downwards rather than inwards, resulting in enhanced stability and steeper legs. In a 20 mile per hour wind, the arch sways up to 1 inch. Although it was designed to sway up to 18 inches, with a height of 630 feet, the arch is the tallest national monument in the United States. The world's most visited tourist destination. Trams have been in use for nearly 30 years and have logged over 250,000 miles of travel. Throughout the summer, the arch will be illuminated every night. Kenneth Swires, who leaped from a plane, parachuted to the top of the arch and attempted to base jump to the ground in 1980, is the lone death related with the Gateway Arch. Residents and visitors to St. Louis use a combination of Metrolink light rail and ride share services to get around without having to own a car. Hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching all our videos.